Hello everyone, today we are going to learn how to configure this machine, okay? It's uh, Exxon C4000BG or Exxon C4000LG or Exxon C4000XG. Each one support a particular type of connection, but uh, all of them have the same interface where uh, we will configure the modem, okay? We are going to configure a PPP or connection for this machine and uh, let's start first of all we need to look at the bottom of this machine okay at the bottom of this machine there is a label attached carries a very important information this is uh, a sample of the attached label okay there is the SSID it carries uh, your wireless name is a key passphrase your wireless key and the gateway user interface it is the ip address this one we need to put on the browser in order to enter the interface so we can configure the modem and this is the username and the password you need to put to enter the interface let's start we open the internet explorer and we put like this And we put 192.168.0.1 as we saw on the label attached at the bottom of the modem. When we click enter, okay, we will have this page, okay. It will ask for a username and password. Again, we put the same username and password we saw on the label attached. This one, admin username is admin, admin password is this one. Remember, it is on the label attached at the bottom of your modem. We put them and then we click apply. It will take us to this page. We click on advanced setup and then take us to this page. And we click on one settings, okay? Then it will take you to this page. Select ISP protocol, you select PPPOE. And then you put your PPP username and PPP password, you should send an email to your internet service provider or you can call them in order to give you the username and the password, okay? And triple uh, P auto connect, you left it enabled. Uh, PPP credentials, you uh, click on disable. I then uh, under it, select IP addressing type, IP addressing type, leave it as dynamic IP, and then you click on apply. And you are done finishing the PPPOE configuration to your modem. Okay, thank you for watching, and uh, if you find my video useful for you, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you again.